If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? Take him, okay? Take Crane. Well, this is a, a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. Bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. We can't keep needing this way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. Just stay still and let me finish. My arm? <laughs> yes, very ugly, but not life-threatening. I can't say the same for these bullets peppered throughout your vital organs. Please, Bigby, don't move it. Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. I suppose. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. <laughs> it's not like I asked for this shit to happen. Yes, but it's not like you actively discouraged it either. Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's... out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands, and I need the space to work, so if you wouldn't mind, we'd appreciate the headroom. I'd, uh... I'd prefer you don't watch this anyway. We'll be down in a moment. Just please, give us the time.
Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Colin, shut the hell up, will ya? Yes, that would be helpful. <sighs> there. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to, having visits with me. And, well, this time... This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss White. He'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been... an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep mostly. Just keep watch, and make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. I don't need a babysitter. I can look after myself. Clearly. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White? Sheriff? Colin? Swiney? So... How do you, um, feel? It's Big B, Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I seen him take worse. How do you think I feel? Like shit. You should see how you look. You had us... <clears throat> you had us worried there for a while. You, uh... You stopped breathing, you know. When you passed out, or... or... died, I guess. It... um... It kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. And even he thought you were... I don't know. It was just... awful. I'm pretty hard to kill. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin... I'm just saying I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Or is Crane still the thing? The Crooked Man, Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah. The Crooked Man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying. That's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder... It was a split-second decision, and I don't care how it looked. I'd make it again and twice on Sunday. All right, I'm not faulting you. Yeah, about that. Giving up Crane to save my skin really made us look weak. <laughs> that made us look weak? Oh, but not Mary shooting you and holding an axe to your big head. Look, I'm not saying it was a good day. Just that we could have done without all the... Uh, bargaining at the end. The crooked man's gonna think... I don't care what he thinks. It was the only option. All I care about right now is... Just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a... loan shark. But clearly, he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. 
So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? How long has this stuff been going on? You know, I couldn't really give a shit what they want out of this. They just made the wrong fucking enemy. <sighs> Remember what Swineheart said, okay? The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. You can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. I can only do things the way I do them. And where has that left us so far? Excuse me, but it's left us with a name. Maybe the name, the Crooked Man. That's not good enough. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried. By the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice, then that would mean I'd lost all faith in our ability to help this town. Just let that side of you be done, okay? I'm sure from your vantage point, it's extraordinarily easy to judge me. Big B. But you sit behind a desk all day. And only tonight did you see what it's like to be pushed into a corner all the time just for doing your job. You think I don't know what it's like to have my life in danger? To not be pushed to do things? I know what it's like. And I know what it's like to lie to yourself. To justify what you've done. So don't talk to me like I'm other people. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. Relax, Colin. I can speak for myself, okay? He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the oh, farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. It keeps everybody out of trouble. And what if a Mundy does see me, huh? I'm a pig, not a mouse with a hat and a cane. They know what a pig is. It's not the end of the world. If Snow says that's the way it's gotta be, that's the way it's gotta be. What? Are you kidding me? If you would simply get a glamour... Get a glamour? With what money? You think I can work? I don't even have thumbs! Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Nerissa. Nerissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. And what do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it. But I can still hang out here, right? The rules are the rules. I don't get to make them, I just enforce them. Bullshit. You give favors all the time. I know you do. 
Yeah. Well, I think I ran out. Are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around. Well, let's just say I've been better. <coughs> Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. Thanks. You can start talking. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is... I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go ahead. It... might work. Crane wasn't the murderer. The open arms was a setup. You sent me there. Was there someone else you wanted me to find there. These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way. But now, they're gone. And I don't know what to do. I'm sorry, but is this going somewhere? <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know, I want to help, but... But... Come on, just talk. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too, huh? Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? It's not how it looks that concerns me. It's what it does. That's why you can't tell me anything. 
It's the ribbon, isn't it? You mind if I just... No! Your lips are sealed! What? You can't! Just stay back! You can't do that! Slow down. It's all right. I'm not gonna do anything. Please, don't. <sighs> okay. I get it. So the ribbons... If you take them off... I don't know how, but I'm going to fix this. If you could just point me in the right direction, I swear I will fix this. If anyone finds out I came here... That's probably Snow. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of... trouble. I shouldn't be talking to you. I'm gonna have to tell Snow. She has to know about the ribbons. If you have to, just... don't tell anyone else. Sorry, I just need to talk to the Sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. No, wait, you don't have to go. That was... Uh, abrupt? That's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... It's how Faith and Lily died. Okay then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night, and they're scared about what's been going on? That's what Nerissa was doing, telling us to go there. I think she made it as clear as she could have. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and... And she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. And you didn't want to tell me what you were into either. With good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Or were you just going to keep that a secret too? You know what it was. You know what was going on. I had to get a job and you wouldn't have it. Don't make it into something it wasn't. It's pretty. Oh. What do you want? Well, 
You're just going around knocking on doors? Stirring the pot? I'm sorry. Were you expecting someone else? No. That was... Forget it. What do you want, Bigby? Listen, I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I... So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Look, I'm coming in. So, uh, let's not get into busting down doors today, all right? It's your pal, Bigby. Hi, Bigby. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Hmm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What's he doing here? We don't need to bring him into this. Beast. I just don't think we can trust him. Not after the way he went behind my back. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. Do you want to keep fighting about that? Or do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. You didn't have to bring him here. We're out of money. And mm. answers. Talk about That's living in the past. We'll finish this later. But we need to talk to Big B. Fine. If you want to talk, we'll talk. Oh, thanks for letting us finish our conversation. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? I thought you were having money problems. But it doesn't look like you're suffering to me. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, We so... should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. Look, I'm not here to referee. You called me, okay? So cut the bullshit and quit wasting my time. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain assurances. You are in danger. You two need to cooperate.